Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at a little project that I've been working on. Um, I recently became interested in getting some sort of gaming emulation machine to use in my living room or any room that was outside of my game room. And the end result, as you see here, is the Aerofera Aero 2 Pro Mini PC. But before we get into the specifics of the Aerofera, I just wanted to explain why I even wanted one and how I got to this point. Now this really all sparked with the release of the Polymega. The Polymega, if you are unaware, is a gaming emulation machine that plays cartridge and most notably CD-based games like the PS1 and the Sega Saturn. And the feature that drew me in and caught my attention was how you can import your CD games into the system. After that, you can simply launch your games from the front end. So you're basically archiving your games into the system and you have them ready to play at the touch of a button. So digitizing and then organizing your physical game collection. But if we look at the price, that's a little more than I want to spend for a strictly emulation machine. It also currently doesn't offer Dreamcast or any more recent systems. So having said all that, I thought surely I can find a good front-end emulation software and a small form factor PC that allows me to do everything the Polymega does, and maybe even better. Plus something that gives me more control over the emulators and the game data. And I also wanted to run an OS like Windows to have access to a web browser, YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, etc. Okay, first things first, this goes nowhere without the right software. I had to find a good front-end software, and thankfully it does exist. LaunchBox is a front-end launcher for games and emulation that is free to download. However, there is a paid version which adds even more features. It has its own database, so anytime you import a game, it will load the metadata and box art automatically. From here, LaunchBox organizes your games by console, and you can set which emulator you want to run for each. So you can simply rip your games to your PC or download a copy off of archive.org and import your library into LaunchBox. I love the layout and navigating the program is very easy and intuitive. For example, click on Sega CD to load your Sega CD library. And if you have a lot of games, you can simply use the search bar to find what you're looking for. And a great thing about having this on a PC is you have the game data under your control. I have the CD-based systems ripped to BenQ files and have them organized by console. I can back these up or share them between multiple computers and LaunchBox installations. You can also set up the emulators to save your game saves to your drive and share the files. I actually have all the games and all the game saves on a network USB external drive attached to my router. So any computer on my network can have a LaunchBox installation and it will map all the games and all the game saves from the network drive. Okay, so now I have the software figured out, but I need to find the right hardware. I'm basically just looking for something powerful enough to emulate the Dreamcast and earlier consoles, so I don't need anything very powerful. I looked into building a small PC, but I found it to be overkill and overly expensive. I was also interested in something with an even smaller form factor. My understanding was that the Raspberry Pi isn't quite powerful enough to suit my needs, and I also wanted to run a Windows installation with LaunchBox. I stumbled upon the world of many PCs thanks in part to videos on YouTube and eventually settled on this, the Aerofera Aero 2 Pro Mini PC. And now the device itself. Um, I found this on sale at Amazon for $180. It's got a nice small form factor. Uh, we look to the side here, you see the SD card slot, two USB ports, your power button. Um, the back has your DC power your USB, your third USB port, HDMI output, your Ethernet port, an audio output, and the side has VGA. Uh, it also has built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Um, it uses an Intel Celeron N5105 processor. It comes with 8 gigabytes of RAM and a 256 gigabyte internal SSD hard drive and comes pre-installed with Windows 11. It is important to note that I'm using this for 1080p content and not 4K. It's not a super powerful machine, but it runs Dreamcast games no problem, which was my goal.
but this machine is quiet and has a small form factor. It plays everything I want it to, and it doesn't break the bank. It also has the added benefit of running Windows on my TV. Also, maybe you're like me, you have a game room, uh, you have a full setup, but it's all SCART cables and switchers and upscalers, and you can't really move these around very easily. They're all tied to your setup, and you can't easily play them anywhere else. You have walls of games, and sometimes maybe you just be like, I would like to play that in the living room or somewhere else. And honestly, the state of emulation these days, I'm really surprised at how well Sega Saturn emulation is today. Um, I mean, same with Dreamcast, but the Saturn was notoriously hard to program for with its two processors. Um, but loading up a Saturn emulator and seeing how well they're emulated was really surprising to me. I'm running the RetroArch Mendafan or Beetle Saturn Core. Um, you also have the option to run shaders or effects, upscale the image, smooth the image, whatever you want to do. So yeah, that's how I ended up here. Uh, I saw the Polymega and the idea of digitizing and organizing my game collection really intrigued me. And yes, you can put every game ever made into LaunchBox, but my collector brain has me getting only the games that I actually have. I like being able to just plop down in the living room on the couch, browse through my game collection, and maybe throwing in a game that I wouldn't have made the effort for before. And uh, controller-wise, after buying a USB dongle, the 8-bit dough dongle, all of my wireless controllers work with the PC, either through that or through Bluetooth. And there are more powerful mini PCs out there that will run more modern stuff. Um, but of course they will run you a bit more cost-wise. B-Link is a brand that has a lot of them that seem to have good reviews. One day I might upgrade, but for now the Aerofera with LaunchBox does everything that I was looking for. And also there are lots of videos on emulation machines and how to set them up, as well as for LaunchBox, if that's something that you are interested in. Thanks for watching everyone.